गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग डॉक्टर डॉक्टर जयशंकर ऑनरेबल एक्सटर्नल अफेयर मिनिस्टर ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया प्रोफेसर बलराम पानी डीन ऑफ कॉलेजेस प्रोफेसर श्री प्रकाश डायरेक्टर साउथ कैंपस प्रोफेसर पमी दुआ डायरेक्टर दिल्ली स्कूल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स प्रोफेसर रत्नाबली डीन एकेडमिक अफेयर्स डॉक्टर विकास गुप्ता रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोफेसर शांति श्री वाइस चांसलर ऑफ जवाहरलाल नेहरू यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोफेसर पायल मागो डायरेक्टर स्कूल ऑफ ओपन लर्निंग यूनिवर्सिटी प्रॉक्टर अदर डीन्स हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ वेरियस इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली मेंबर्स ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी कोर्ट एग्जीक्यूटिव काउंसिल एकेडमिक काउंसिल फाइनेंस कमेटी फाइनेंस ऑफिसर ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली ऑफिसर्स एंड ऑफिशियल्स ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली रिस्पेक्टेड टीचर्स स्टूडेंट्स इन्वाइटेड गेस्ट एंड माई डियर फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू दिस बुक इज ऑन अवर ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ही वॉज चीफ मिनिस्टर फॉर थर्टीन ईयर्स इन गुजरात and now 7 years for 7 years as prime minister so total 20 years and uh, as uh, dean academic affairs has explained there are many chapters written by uh, written by the persons who worked with him or who were inspired with him or who have some association with him so that's why you know the book is based on facts figures data and you know interpretation of so many things it's a must read for every indian so that we know that governance is not easy but you know if your intention is good then you can make change in the lives of the citizen of the country so 20 years of outstanding governance this book emphasizes on 20 years of outstanding governance decisive leadership and compassionate policies we are lucky to have a leader like shri narendra modi as prime minister of india who commit less who commit less but deliver more that is the motto he commit less but deliver more he is progressive decisive result oriented caring and a very compassionate leader किसी ने बहुत अच्छा कहा है कि खुद भी खुद मझधार में होकर भी खुद मझधार में होकर भी जो औरों का साहिल होता है खुद मझधार में होकर भी जो औरों का साहिल होता है परमात्मा जिम्मेदारियां उसी को देता है जो निभाने के काबिल होता है आई वॉज ऑल्सो फॉर्चुनेट दैट आई हैव सम एसोसिएशन बिकॉज आई वॉज द वाइस चांसलर ऑफ एम एस यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ बड़ोडा एंड आई मेट हिम मेनी टाइम्स एंड वन और टू इंसिडेंट्स आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर विद यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द टाइप ऑफ लीडरशिप टू अंडरस्टैंड द टाइप ऑफ पर्सनैलिटी मेनी पीपल हैव एक्सप्लेन थिंग्स इन द बुक ऑल्सो बट यू नो वन डे आई रिसीव ए कॉल वेन आई वॉज वाइस चांसलर ऑफ एम एस यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ बड़ोदा i received a call from uh, the chief minister office that cm wants to talk to you so i was uh, taken aback man what happened then he said then he came online and said i am nominating you on the board of gujarat state patronates limited it's a company uh, uh, it, it's a psu promoted by the government of gujarat i am nominated you as the uh, Uh, as the director of the company next sentence very inspiring sentence he said ki mere gujarat ke hiton ki raksha karna that is your job that is the leadership ki mere gujarat ke hiton ki raksha karna gujarat was his life gujarat and the welfare of the people was his motto and as prime minister also he is doing the same thing now india is his life and the motto is the welfare of the larger good of the country 
He's a visionary leader. Again, you know, one day he called me and said, we, MS University is a very prestigious university. You should start an institute in the university, institute for the study of international affairs and international relations. Because, and then there should be scientists who should work on primary data and advise government of India and that institute should advise government of India on international matters. He believed that, he still believes that research based decisions are better than common sense based decisions. He said, if I ask you, please name three countries, three countries who are friends of India. Co with common sense, every Indian can uh, say anything, three countries. But if it is based on scientific research and primary data, result will be better and decisions will be more effective and impactful. That is the vision of a leader and in MS University Balada, we could establish that institution and now that institution is working as Atal Bihari Vajpayee Institution of International Affairs and Studies. <laughs> he is full of passion and energy, no doubt. We all see on television, he is full of passion and energy. And this is the last incident which I would like to quote here. You know, one day uh, I requested for an appointment and finally I got an appointment on Sunday. So I was very happy. Uh, on Sunday I got an appointment. So I will get some time and when I went to the residence, my turn was 75th. He works like a CEO. 75th, time was 5.15. So that list was from the morning and I got entry at 5.20. That type of management, apne ko dus logo se milna pad jai, to apne jheek jate hai. To, meinne unko kaha bhi ki aapko, aap jheekte nahi kya, parishan nahi hoote itne saare logo se milke. He did not see anything but smiled. That is the beauty of a leader. Now, coming back to the subject, coming back to the subject, in next 25 years, now 75 years uh, after independence, now we have set some targets for us that when we were be uh, when India will be celebrating uh, 100 years of independence, we want India to be a prosperous nation, developed nation, powerful nation, and Vishwa Guru. These are the targets, and we would like to er eradicate poverty and sufferings from the Indian society. We want to eradicate poverty and sufferings. Key is what? Key is the growth. Key is the growth. And I have said many times, now India needs 10% growth rate for next 25 years. 10% growth rate for next 25 years and every proposal, now Honorable Minister is also here, I would like to say every proposal which is submitted to the government of India or any state government, it should be first filtered on the basis of that whether it compromises growth rate or it accelerates growth rate. A proposal which accelerates growth rate should be accepted immediately and a proposal which compromises growth rate usko 25 saal chhod dena chahiye baad mein dekhenge usko har cheez abhi thodi solve karni hai humne is desh mein so that and you know every action of government of india is towards accelerating the growth of india and i would like to share some of the statistics why it is important for the people of india we want jobs we want so many things we want prosperity we want uh, welfare of the larger good of the people of india in from 1900 to 1950 50 years our growth rate was zero 1900 to 1950 two world wars famine of bengal zero percent growth rate 50 to 80, 3.5 percent growth rate, 1980 to 2002, 5 to 7 percent, 2003 to 2008, 8 to 9 percent, and 9 to 14 is growth rate is 7.2 percent. But average economic growth of India from last 70, 1951 to 2021, 70 years is 5.81 percent. Why I am saying that 10 percent growth rate is possible? Why I am saying that? Uh, if we are able to do it, things will change in India because country is in the right hands and our direction is also right. 
I am not saying based on my perception, but data, which I would like to share, which is different in the book also. Average economic annual growth rate of Gujarat from 2001 to 2014, average growth rate of Gujarat, besides droughts, besides so many, so many things, that government of Gujarat could provide 9.8%, highest in India for 13 years. Imagine 9.8% growth rate if, if he can do it in Gujarat, he will be able to do it here also. But you know here also, key is what? Key is the agriculture growth rate, which was for 13 years, agriculture growth rate in Gujarat, it was 9.2%. That's why they could got the growth rate of 9.8%. 9.2% growth rate in agriculture sector is unheard in history of India. Government of Gujarat could do it. That is the leadership. If we want to do it, it is possible. They have done it. And we are very hopeful that we will be achieved these targets because we have to replicate so many, so many things. And uh, uh, Pami Dua Ma'am has rightly said the PM wants to enhance dollar three trillion economy to six trillion dollar. Nowadays, world's economy size is about hundred trillion dollars, and our is two point eight, and uh, our targets are up to ten trillion dollar, and uh, this government of India can do it because they have already done it in Gujarat. He will be surely able to do all. And because thinking big and executing in scale, two things are very important. We all see one is the scale, another is the size. Both are very important because this is not a country of 7 crore people or 10 crore people or 15 crore people. We are many. 140 crore. So 1.4 billion people, it means what? Not because big is beautiful. But big is essential, big is essential, uh, big is essential to serve the needs and ambitions of a country of 1.4 billion people. And then remember, 9.6% growth rate, many, many things, UPI, so many things have discussed. I don't want to focus on that, but you know, focusing on agriculture, because key and the growth will come from the agriculture and manufacturing. Focusing on agriculture can be good economics, but it is also good politics. Good economics as well as good politics if we are able to achieve this. That's why now India is a power surplus country, power surplus country, and when uh, Gujarat government, first government, who could separate the rural feeder, domestic feeder, and the commercial feeder, then they could provide 24 hours power supply to the rural uh, domestic uh, houses of Gujarat. 24 hours power supply. Now, uh, same model has been replicated in India. National education policy, national education policy, I don't want to speak now, because fruits will come in another 5, 10 years. Now, government is very serious about the implementation. And in Delhi University also, we are implementing now national education policy from this academic session, various provisions and uh, they will change the quality of life and future of bright minds of India. I can assure you that if we are able to implement correctly in, in the letter and spirits, results will be amazing. Please wait for two, three, four years. Things will be very, very different in India. And you know, lastly, uh, I, I, I said many times, the first First responsibility of any government is what? To make borders safe and secure. Second is also that, third is also that, pehli das tak yehi kaam hai, kisi bhi rajya ka simaon ki suraksha. Aur Bharat ki sarkar isme sao mein sao hai. Simaon ki suraksha mein sao mein sao hai. Main international policy pe kuch nahi bol raha, kyunki authority bhi bethe hai, wo hi batayenge iske baare mein. Isi liye, Mushkil, bhoa saare cheezhe hoti hain, difficult times bhi aya, covid bhi aya, but still, we could do so many things which were expected from us to do it. Isliye, someone has rightly said, and it is true for our Honorable Prime Minister and the Government of India, ki safar mein mushkilin aayin to himmat aur badhti hai. 
سفر میں مشکلیں آئیں تو ہمت اور بڑھتی ہے اگر کوئی راستہ روکے تو ضرورت اور بڑھتی ہے اگر بکنے پہ آ جاؤ تو گھٹ جاتے ہیں دام اکثر اگر بکنے پہ آ جاؤ تو گھٹ جاتے ہیں دام اکثر نہ بکنے کا ارادہ ہو تو قیمت اور بڑھتی ہے نہ بکنے کا ارادہ ہو تو قیمت اور بڑھتی ہے نہ بکنے والی گورنمنٹ ہے نہ بکنے والے کام کرنے والے لوگ ہیں بہت اچھا اس دیش کے ساتھ ہوگا ہم سب ہم سب کو بہت آشاوان ہیں بھی اور رہنا بھی ہے اور ہم اپنی آنکھوں سے ایک اچھا بھارت دیکھیں گے ایک ڈیولپڈ بھارت دیکھیں گے پروسپرس بھارت دیکھیں گے سنبھالنے کا کام ہمارا ہے سنبھالنے کے لیے بھی لوگوں کو تیار کرنا ہے راشٹریہ شکشا نیتی اس میں کچھ اپنا یوگدان کرے گی اس آشا کے ساتھ آپ آئے آپ کا بہت بہت دھنیہ